Hello and welcome back to another video. Right, it is December 2022 and it's that time of year. Most Amiga fanboys start playing Amiga Christmas related games. Uh, now today I'm going to be playing it on Pimega 3.0. Chris Edwards is awesome Pimega has had an update in the last couple of weeks. Now for the last couple of years this has been out. I have solely played Christmas games just on that. The whole Pimega thing now does remind me of Christmas, so it's that's all good in the hood. Uh, today I'm going to play it on a CRT TV. Behind me, you can't see at the moment, is my Philips CM8833 Mark II monitor, which I got for £30, which incidentally I think was one, if not the, yeah, my first YouTube video when I started this channel a couple of years ago. So uh, without further ado, Amiga top on. Oops, no, it's, it's Atari. Uh, let's get into it. Welcome to the awesome Pimega 3.0 Christmas tree, lemming Christmas lemming Right, the text is quite tiny on this so you're going to have to bear with me when I type it in There must be a way to make it larger but I can't be asked with the messing around with settings and that so Just have to sit there Put up with it righty oh so um yeah we have the pi 400 through a composite converter uh, which goes into the back of the monitor output is stereo sound via some speakers which are you can't see them they're just sort of like here um and the screen is beautiful any flicker on that a tiny amount of flicker Right, as I say, it is a bit tiny, so I'll do a couple of zoom ins. Right, we're going to kick things off with Robocod. So now you can't see this, I can't see this, but that is tiny. So we're going to go with what looks like James Pond 2 AGA. Beautiful. That's Christmas. That is Christmas right there. And there. A couple of cat ears. Righty ho. Um, it runs absolutely a bloody beautiful on this monitor. I was trying to think of some other Christmas games that, you know, people don't really mention at Christmas. I mean, when I say people don't mention, I mean like in the Amiga community. Uh, Gremlins 2 was one of them. And I thought, well, Gremlins 1 is a Christmas film. Obviously, we haven't got a Gremlins game. Uh, Gremlins 2, uh, I think, if I remember, was it set at Christmas time? I don't know. But I played it and it wasn't really, didn't have that Christmassy sort of feel to it. And obviously we haven't got a Die Hard game as well. So it was the next best thing was Die Hard 2. I wasn't feeling that either, to be honest with you. So yeah, you'll just have to put up with some of the obvious ones. And when I say obvious ones, the ones that always get mentioned, so. Right, well that was level one. Yeah, I'm not going to play any further because these aren't playthroughs. Um, uh, we'll do a reset. Right, I've just brought the camera in a little bit closer so you can see. Uh, we're going to play... Let me see, Lotus 2. Because Lotus 2 does remind me of Christmas.
some slight interference, not much like. Full stereo sound, as you can hear. Righty oh, let's get into it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to play the Christmassy themed one. It does play Jingle Bells but it's gone off. As you can see, I am completely rubbish at this game. Let's call the skids. Not because of what's in me on these. Memories of this Christmas time, not just this level, just the whole game. We have a cat approaching. Warning, warning, cat approaching. Thanks for that, Daph. Never mind. Right, on to the next game. Right, welcome to Xmas Lemmings. Merry Christmas, Mr. Lemming. <laughs> this music also appeared in the original Lemmings game. 
so it looks like we need to go a fair distance here. Oh dear, what's going on here with this? They're going to die, aren't they, if I do that? So, do we need to block the rest and smash with that one? Give that one an umbrella, maybe? Oh, shit! Nope. No, nope, he's dead. Bye bye. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna let me see what I need to do here. Uh, I think, in all honesty, we've, we've messed that up. I love the lights and everything here. Let's blow them up and start again. Let's watch them all blow up. Left to try again. Right, so... Uh, will we climb over that? No, they won't. We smash through. Yeah, we smash through. Okay, so we'll block that one. And we'll let him go. They're going to die, aren't they, if they go there? And then they need to get to there. I tell you what, let's not play the level. Let's just get them all out. What are these doing? Oh. And let's nuke the little fuckers. Close your eyes. It's coming. Always, always very satisfying. Right, on to the next game. Right, yo, next up we have Santa's Xmas Caper. Copyright 1992 Zeppelin Games. I quite like this game, if I'm going to be honest. Quite a hard game, in fact. Sort of turkey helicopter there. Game over, let's have another game. Shit. 
And I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to type in. Now, this is everyone's staple movie of the year. Is it everyone's staple game every year? Home Alone. And if I'm going to be honest with you, another shite. Whoopsies. It's going to work. It's going to work. As I was saying, it's another shite Christmas game. Right, let's get into it. Come on. It's a bloody hard game. Bloody hard game. Basically, set your traps and try and stop these two way of those chasing a kid around the house. It doesn't feel like Christmas in this game, I'm going to be honest with you. Basically, you just set the traps, the timer goes off, or whatever, and then these two decide to chase around the house. When you get caught, the game's over. Simple as that. Pick things up like that, and it tells you where to set them. So you put that there, like so. that up and then place it there and so forth basically get that Place that there. It seems to go quicker when you jump, don't know why. There's a spider up there, can you get the spider? So basically, yeah, you pick a strap up and it tells you where to set it. So what we're going to do. Well, you can pick three of it once, I think. It's outside here. Yeah. Considering it's a Christmas movie, there's zero snow outside, which was in the film, and there is zero Christmas decorations up. So, yeah, I wouldn't call this a Christmas game, if I'm going to be honest with you. So what we're going to do, we're going to have less of this crap and we're going to put another one on. Okay, welcome to Fire Nice. I mean, graphically the game I think is really good. I don't go as far as playing it sort of like every year. 
It's a little bit slow and clunky in my opinion. Um, doesn't really feel like Christmas, if that makes sense. I mean, to be honest with you, everyone's got their own opinion on what is a Christmas game for them. It could be a game that, you know, it's not really related to Christmas, but because they got it at Christmas, it reminds them of Christmas. Now, I think there is another game which I won't play, um, Harlequin. Now, I seem to remember getting that for Christmas once, and it bears no resemblance to Christmas, but... It reminds me of Christmas, if that makes sense. But yeah, the main ones for me are Lotus 2, which I play every Christmas day anyway. Um, also, Holiday Lemmings or Christmas Lemmings. Now, we have another one which I couldn't find. It probably is on here, but because the text is so small on this monitor. It's a not so festive cannon fodder. Basically, it was a uh, two levels, and it was just Christmas themed. You got it with Amiga format or something like that back in the day. Um, can we have one more before we wrap things up? Think of uh, apart from Maria's Xmas box, which should we play it? Yeah, we may as well. We may as well. Oh, it doesn't work. Let's try it again. Yeah. 1988 by Anko. So, Maria's Xmas box, I think, a 005 Agima done a video last year on this. And um, it's basically. A card mm -hmm. game and she strips off I have have no clue on how to play this kind of game so um, mm -hmm. it's just a case of mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what you're supposed to do like I, I can't play cards so Call raise. Uh, I bet twenty. Just take some clothes off, please. Look. Mm -hmm. Now you may have noticed that my hand looks a little bit traily. I've knocked sort of the aperture down, the exposure down, and I'm left with this sort of trailing thing. Yo, so apologies for that. If you're wondering what was going on there. Mm -hmm. Take some clothes off, please. Uh, new pot. It's not the kind of game I play at Christmas time. Uh, I'm going to take one card. Stay bet. I bet 20. Hold on. My name is Maria. I stay. We both stay. My hand. My penis. <coughs> now. We'll take three cards. Yep. My hand on your breasts. You can keep your shoes <coughs> on, kinky bastard. <coughs> I've just, you know what? You're bored of me, love. Um, I think, to be honest with you, um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, as I say, people have their own sort of, you know, different opinions on Christmas games.
So that was Christmas games played on Pimega 3.0 on a Philips CRT monitor. Right, okay, so that was a little look at some Christmas games played on Chris Edwards' awesome Pimega 3.0. Now, I must apologise, like I've said, uh, I, I sort of tried to get the best exposure where I could have minimal flickering, and the only way to do that was this camera, which I'm still getting used to. I had to knock the aperture up and the shutter speed down all up anyway, so it created a little bit of trailing. I mean, that's full 60 FPS motion, but there was a slight bit of trailing, so yeah, I do apologise on that one. If I put it in Intelligent Auto, it just went nuts and off its head. So yeah, next video, I should probably do a video on this. Nice little Game Boy I've got for £60 off a of mate. Now, it's got... It's a nice black one. Works really well. I've got inside it now uh, Donkey Kong Land. And I've got a few other games as well, which are Pinball, uh, Donkey Kong, and Worms as well. So, yeah. I should be doing a video on that very shortly. Well, when I say very shortly, it'll be in the next next couple of weeks in the new year, maybe. Nice little bag as well is coming. Yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, Christmas games on the Amiga I suppose they vary between different people. There's games, like I say, um, Harlequin. I do remember getting that for Christmas once, and it bears no resemblance to Christmas, but it always reminds me of Christmas. So I do play it at Christmas time. Lotus 2, especially the skids, the snow level, when you get the Jingle Bells music. And it came out around about December, I think. I, 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 off the top of my head, I can't remember. And obviously you've got these ones as well. So you've got, you know, Christmas lemmings and stuff like that. That is my original, which I am keeping. That's a 93 and 94 version. Yeah, Christmas Lemmings. You've got the not-so-festive cannon for there. You've got that tart up there, Maria's Xmas box. Is it Maria? Yeah, whatever. Get off. And um, in fact, in fact, while I'm here, while I'm here, very, very quickly, very, very quickly, um, very quickly, 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 I'll just show you. Um, uh, this is a very old version of WHD load, this one. Right, so... Um, oh God, I'll just cut a minute. Oh, I thought I had it there, but I haven't. It's basically, uh, I think it's called Not So Festive Cannon Fodder, and it was a special by Amiga format. Two levels, Christmas themed, absolutely awesome. One level was uh, Anger Bout, Anger Bout, Anger Bout, Anger Bout. I don't think it'll be on this. Is it that? Ah, oh, it is, it's this one, it's this one. I do apologise. So, what you see behind me there is a Christmas special from Amiga Format. I do believe it was 1994. So you've got the Land of Hope and Glory and it's snow time. Now, the Land of Hope and Glory is a football one. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I might do a, a separate video on this. But yeah, Amiga format, Merry Christmas, and quite a hard, well this level is quite easy, the, the other level was quite hard, and basically this was just like football, and you had to kill a helicopter with a rocket launcher, and we have Argentina, who had just won the World Cup, there's the chopper, got no sound there because I've turned the sound off. Kill me. Kill me. So this is on the Amiga 1200. This one is friggin' hard. Really hard. Really hard. As you can see there, Merry Christmas. 
So yeah, uh, I might do a little video on that one, I don't know yet. So as always folks, uh, cheers for watching and if I don't see you, have a bloody good Christmas and I'll see you sometime maybe in the new year. Nice shooting son, what's your name? Chewy!